Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview and introduction to Basecamp. Basecamp is a project management tool that we use here at Redefine Horizons for all sorts of stuff. I started with Trello and then I kind of made the migration over to Basecamp as our project management got a little more complicated. So I've got the desktop app open here. You can see it's it's installed down here in my taskbar. Task bar. <clears throat> Excuse me, but there's a web app. You can get to this in, in any web browser, including on your phone, but I prefer the desktop app when I'm on my laptop. So when you log into Basecamp, this is the screen that you're going to see first. This is the home screen. You can always access it by clicking this button here. And it's going to give you a list of what are essentially cards here for your, your most recently visited projects. You can see I have some of those pinned there with a the little pin. If you're an admin, you'll have this little admin menu over here. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Uh, maybe I'll do a separate video on that. But if you don't see that, don't worry. It just means you're not an admin. You still have access to most of the functionality. You, you mostly use admin to manage permissions. By the way, I have the dark the dark theme on. There's also a light, a light theme, so I have the dark theme. So you've got your, your list of cards here for, for the most recently visited <clears throat> projects. You've got this kind of standard menu at the top. You've got a company logo, and then you've got these two buttons so you can invite people or make a new project. Let me just briefly review this menu at the top. So we talked about this button will always take you to this home screen here, the home button. You can search. So for example, I can say I want to search for ROS, I want to search to do's, um, and I want to search by anyone everywhere. So, this is going to give me all the to do's that have ROS in them. So, record survey, for example, at my shop. So, they've got some search functionality here. I'm going to come back to this button because this is important. This is your notifications under the Hey button. Uh, I You can have your notifications turned on, I turn them off. Uh, because there's a ton of them. Uh, my team uses Basecamp a lot and I, you, the notifications will drive you crazy so you can come here and see your notifications. Pings are similar. It's like a private chat. I don't really use this. We use Microsoft Teams at my shop. Lineup is a scheduling tool. We don't really use that. Now activity is pretty handy. It'll show you what you did in, in Basecamp and what your team did on a particular day. So I can help you if you're trying to remember what you need to do. If you're trying to remember what you did on a particular day when you're filling out your timesheet, if you use Basecamp, you can get in and get, get some clues there. And you can also uh, filter this a little bit. So, for example, you can say, I only want to see, uh, let's see, who, who do I know uses Basecamp? Elaine, I know. So you can just look at Elaine's, Elaine's Basecamp, or, you know, you, could, you just want to see to-dos that were completed or created. So that's under the activity, and, and this is all created automatically. Uh, it is, uh, you don't have to manually do this. This just gets created automatically. My stuff is the, is the most important button here. So this basically filters through everything in, in Basecamp and just shows you what's relevant to you. So for example, here's all my to-dos that I've been assigned. These are the ones with dates. So you can see Elaine, our project coordinator, is giving me that. But here's all my assignments, and I got a ton of them. So I don't have to go into each individual Basecamp project to, to see what my assigned tasks are. It builds a master list for you here, which is super super handy. You can also look at your schedule. You can see I only have one thing on my schedule uh, because I don't do a good job about assigning due dates to my tasks. So I need to do better at that. Uh, so all that's under your my, your my stuff menu. So let me go back to the home screen. This is the main screen. I want to just take a few minutes and show you what does a Basecamp project for a job look like and then what does a Basecamp project that's not for a job look like. So let me let me start with what a Basecamp project for a job looks like. So we're, we're going to just pick a job here. This is a job we're wrapping up. So every Basecamp project has the same basic look here. It's got a message board. We use that for status updates. Well, we should be using it for status updates, in theory. Uh, it's got to-dos, 
You can go in here and create your to-do list for the job. We're pretty, we use that pretty heavily. It's got a section for docs and files. We don't use that as much. We don't use check-ins. Uh, we could do better about scheduling in Basecamp. I'll try and work on that. Campfire is like a threaded message chat. We don't use that. Like I said, we've got teams. So the main things we use in here are the message board, uh, the to-dos, and we could do a better job about the schedule. Uh, they also have something called a card table. It's not set up for this job, but I'll show you that in a minute. And then it, it has this project activity here. This is one of the features about Basecamp that I enjoy the most. So every time somebody takes an action in a project, whether it's posting a note or completing a to-do, it logs that here. And so this gives you a great tool as a, as a project manager. You can get in and see who's been working on your project and what have they been doing. This is in chronological order, super handy. This is all automated. It's one of the, one of the best features of Basecamp. It's all automated. So I can see that Nikki came in here and posted a status update uh, on June 24th at 5.30. And then uh, before that on June 20th, looks like uh, she added another status update. So good job. Nikki's been doing her status updates. I did one before that. So good job, Nikki. Okay, so that's what a Basecamp project looks like for a particular job. Let's just see what a, what a non-job project looks like at RH. So same same basic interface here. This is for uh, what we call an aspect. So this is a, a part of our business that isn't a job for a client. So this is our marketing aspect. Same basic structure, right? You can see I've got a message board here. I'm giving a status update. Uh, it's got to-dos. I got all kinds of to-dos here on our marketing board. So our new marketing person, Miriam, is going to help me. We're going to hack at some of that. Uh, we do have a few docs on this one. Uh, so this, these are usually, um, at my shop, these are these are just kind of placeholder placeholders. So these, these are just like places to dump notes or thoughts. Uh, when we formalize things, they tend to move over to our file server. But you can see it. I've got a list of interesting peer companies here. Uh, what else do I got in there? Uh, stuff to imitate. Um, I've got a, the outline for GIS services web page. So just some odds and ends in the docs. Um, and then I didn't show you this earlier, but uh, on the other, on the job, because we didn't have it set up, but you can enable a card table as a tool. And this, this is just like a Kanban board, like in Trello, so you can move cards back and forth. So I have this set up for uh, article writing and editing. Um, I, I have not been doing a good job of this, so Miriam will, Miriam will help me with this, I hope. So that's what a, a Basecamp project looks like uh, for, for a non-job. So we, we use Basecamp, as I mentioned, for both. We have, as you can see, if you go into the list here, all these with, with numbers in the front are for jobs. So every job here, almost every job, gets a Basecamp project. And then you can see we've got a bunch of Basecamp projects for the different aspects of our company, safety, record survey maps, professional development, human resources, field surveys. So Basecamp is a really critical tool for us. We use it a lot. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what that looks like and how we use it. I want to try and remember, I'll, I'll try and do a video that takes you into the admin settings a little bit, but I wanted to do this video. We've got two new people starting tomorrow, Miriam, our project coordinator and marketing specialist, and Cosette is going to be a CAD drafter, CAD tech, survey tech. So I wanted to get them acquainted with just the kind of the interface of, of Basecamp. So Thank you for watching, Miriam and Cosette.